Hello, hello, hello. Hola. Hola, hola, hola. Hola a todos. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome to another video. I hope you can hear me well. Today we are going to do a crossword puzzle and we're going to talk about moods, emotions. And uh, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And also you can download this crossword puzzle that we're going to do for free on smlessons.com as well. Also give this video a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. And are you guys ready? <laughs> I want to give a big shout out to Kay Beck. She is a Cafecito member. Okay, Beck, thank you for the coffee. <laughs> I hope you can join us today. And uh, thanks again. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. If you're interested in getting a membership on this channel, you can just click on the join button down below. That helps this channel a lot. There are different memberships. There are three different memberships. Cafecito membership, Cerveza membership, and also Tequila membership. So if you want to know the perks and more details, please just click on the join button down below. <laughs> so are you guys ready? Where are you? I don't read you right now. And um, I see Farhan Ali. Hola, mi profesora, ¿cómo estás? Estoy muy feliz por estar aquí. Hello, hola, Farhan. Welcome, bienvenido. <laughs> That's a very nice comment. Thank you so much. Um, me, yo estoy bien. ¿Tú cómo estás? Espero que estés bien. <laughs> Are you ready? ¿Estás listo? Okay, so before we continue, I have some surprise for you guys. I have a really good surprise for you. So maybe you can see on the top right corner, you can see something that says October winner. So what we're gonna do is whoever wins the most times in a month will get a chance to join us on our podcast and chat with us about that week's topic. So if you guys are interested in doing this and if you win the most times in this month, October, you will get a chance to talk about a topic that we're going to be having on our podcast. So let's see who wins today because this is the beginning of the month. So we'll see. That's very exciting. Okay, so let's see. Um, the crossword is right here. It, it looks big, but we only have 15 words, okay? 15 words. So <laughs> it looks big, but it's, it's just basically the same. And remember, we're going to talk about moods, about emotions, mostly moods, okay? So are you guys ready? I'm going to choose the first, the first word or the first number. And remember, whoever guesses the word correctly needs to tell me the next number. Okay. And yeah, that, that's how it works. You, you know how it works. Use the live chat to just to answer, to submit your answers. Okay. Let's do, hmm, let's do, let's do. Let's see. I want to find something not too difficult. So let's do number 10. 10 across. 10 across, okay? I think that will be good. That's going to be good. And 10 across is right here. Right here, okay? 
So it's easy. It's going to be easy. And let's just remove the number from here. Perfect. Okay, 10 across. I'm going to read the definition. Okay. Hello, Trent in Tampa. Hola. Buena suerte a todos. Yes, good luck, everyone. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, 10 across. It has five letters and the definition is feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Okay, so essentially you're having a good time. <laughs> it's a very, very basic Spanish word. And, you know, when you feel this, you're usually smiling and yes, yes, perfect. Hello, Lynette Giggs. Welcome. Yes, that's correct. We are talking about feliz, feliz. And do you know what that means? That means happy, feliz, happy. Okay, so that's, that's a good word. To know for sure and the first the first point is for Lynette okay perfect great Lynette yes that's correct Farhan the word is feliz feliz that means happy okay so Lynette please tell me the next number Okay, four across, four across. I can see it right, where is it? Where is it? Four across, yes, <laughs> here it is. It's a long one and uh, the word has six, seven, eight, ocho letras, ocho letras. Excellent, okay, so the definition is Fearful, frightened. Someone who feels fearful or someone who is fearful, you know, it could be similar to, yeah, if you see some, you know, horror movie, you might feel this way. Uh, or if you, I don't know, if you essentially, if you feel fear, that's the motion. Feeling fear. <laughs> How do you call this in Spanish? Especially during this month, <laughs> it, I think people like watching uh, horror movies and all of that because of that feeling, you know? Yes, that's correct. Trent has the answer. We are talking about asustado, asustado. Okay, let's see the answer. Asustado, asustado. And that means scared, okay? Scared, scared, <laughs> scared. Sorry. Okay, Trent gets a point. Perfect, Trent. Awesome. Good job. Okay. Trent, please tell me the next the next number. Seven down. Excellent. Seven down. And that is right here seven down and this word is another long one another long another long word we can see that all the almost all of the words are very long okay so this one has six seven eight nine nine letters nueve letras and the definition is 
someone in a state of general unhappiness or despondency. Despond despondency? <laughs> That's the word. Someone who is always or who is feeling unhappy. How do you call this? It's, it's a long word, so just keep that in mind. And um, usually it's a problem that people um, have. Uh, sometimes they, they feel like that constantly. It's uh, some, yeah, some health problem for sure. And um, usually people feel this way when they break up with, you know, their boyfriend or girlfriend, when, uh, when they uh, have a lot of problems, when um, sometimes when it's raining, you know, <laughs> people feel this way. Uh, hello, Chanel. Uh, no, that's not the word, but the, that word starts with the letter D. So you're close. You're close, Chanel. You're close. Yes, that is correct. Good job, Chanel. We're talking about deprimido. Deprimido. Okay. And that means depressed. So let's see the answer. Deprimido. Deprimido. That means depressed. Okay, so Chanel gets a point. Excellent. Good job. Okay, Chanel, please tell me the next number. Okay, 13 down. Let's see where it is. 13 down. Uh, it's right here. Right here. Excellent. Okay, so this word has six, seven, eight, eight letters, ocho letras. And hmm, let's see. Okay. The definition is easily agitated or alarmed, tending to be anxious, highly strong. So someone who is agitated or alarmed and they tend to be anxious as well. So how do you call this in Spanish? Especially you feel this when you are about to do something really important, like, I don't know, um, if you have a, I don't know, if you're going to play an instrument, an, a musical instrument, and you're going to have a lot of people watching you, you feel this way, you know, or if you have to talk to a big group of people, you feel this way. How do you call this in Spanish? You know, usually you get sweaty hands, you know, and no. Good, good guess, Chanel, but it's not ansioso. It's similar to that. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Trent has the answer. We are talking about nervioso, nervioso. And that means nervous, you know, when you're about to do something important or if you see someone that you really like and you're about to tell that person that you like them, you can use or, or nervioso, that's the feeling, right? Nervous. So yes, Trent gets a point. Good job, Trent. Excellent. I love I love that Lynette says estomago. <laughs> That's a good guess. That's a good guess. But yeah, estomago is not a feeling, not a mood. But yeah, that yeah, you feel like butterflies when you are nervioso for sure. That's for sure, Lynette. Okay, Trent in Tampa says twelve down. 
12th day. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Okay. This one is a very long word. Very long word. And let's see how many letters. Three, six. Oh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once. Once letras. Eleven letters. Okay. The definition is experiencing mental or emotional strain or tension. No? Experiencing mental or emotional strain or tension. How do you call this when, when you are, you know, under pressure? When you feel like you have to do a lot of things and you don't have enough time? How do you call this? <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I'm so sorry. I read the wrong the wrong definition. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh <laughs> Chanel, you 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 got the answer to one of almost to one of the, the moods. But I'm sorry, I read the wrong definition. <laughs> this is the good definition. I'm sorry, guys. The definition is feeling or showing embarrassment. That is the definition. Sorry, I just didn't look at the right the the correct definition. Feeling or showing embarrassment. So how do you call this when you feel embarrassed because something happened, you know? And it's not embarazada because I know that there is a confusion. Sometimes people think that uh, embarrassment and embarazada both are the, both have the same meaning, but no, <laughs> it's completely different. Um, you're close, Chanel. You're close. Uh, the yeah, yes, yes. Okay, Trent has the answer, and I forgot to say that this was the feminine form of the mood, but it's okay. It's okay. You, Trent. You have the answer, okay? So we're talking about, oh boy, avergonzada. That's the feminine form. The masculine form is avergonzado, okay? Just like Trent said. Uh, but yeah, avergonzada is the feminine form. And good job. That means embarrassed or ashamed, okay? So that's, that's quite interesting. Okay, Trent, you get a point. Perfect. Excellent. Sorry about that uh, problem with the definition. <laughs> okay, Trent, please tell me the next number. I hope you can see the numbers well. We have one across, six across, eight, nine, eleven, fifteen across, two down, three down, five down, and fourteen down. Okay, eleven across. Excellent. Okay. Let's see where it is. 11 across. And that is right here. Okay. So we can see we have three, three letters already that, that we can, we can see clearly letter two E's and one A. Okay. 11 across. Okay. So the definition is this is funny. <laughs> this is the the previous yes, the previous definition that I read by mistake. And I see I see Chanel. Let's see, let's double check. Let's double check. Yes. Chanel, you guessed the word. We're talking about estresado. Estresado. And the definition is experiencing mental or emotional strain or tension. Yes. So you got the point. Awesome. Okay. The word is estresado. 
estresado. And that means stressed out. You know, when you have a lot of pressure, that is the mood estresado. Estresado. Perfect. Chanel gets the point. Good job, Chanel. Excellent. Okay. So, Chanel, please tell me the next number. Okay. Eight across. Eight across. Where is it? Okay. I can see it right here. And I'm just going to remove the number up here. And eight across has six letters. Seis letras. And the definition is... Feeling or showing sorrow, unhappy. Okay, so that's very easy. Uh, it's a common, common feeling in Spanish, <laughs> you know, and in in English as well. Feeling or showing sorrow, unhappiness. Okay, Trent. Yes, you are correct. We are talking about triste, 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 and that means sad, when someone feels sad, okay, so Trent gets a point, good job, excellent, okay, Trent, please tell me, You're guessing everything, guys. That's awesome. We have one across, six, nine. Okay. One across. Sounds good. Let's remove the number. And, the, oh my, another long word. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, you know that this word has the letter... I. <laughs> That's all we know. Okay. And the definition is feeling or showing surprise. Okay. Feeling or showing surprise. How do you call this in Spanish? When you, when you go into your house and then everybody's there and <laughs> there's a surprise party for you, <laughs> you know, how do you feel when that happens? Also, when you receive, I don't know, a gift, when you get a gift from a friend or something and you were not expecting that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chanel has the answer. We're talking about sorprendido. Um, she's saying, Chanel is saying the... Um, the the feminine form and Trent is saying the masculine form so just as I've done it before I think the fair thing is to give the point to both of you guys Chanel and Trent because Chanel has like 99% a 99% correct answer but Trent has the 100% accurate <laughs> answer okay yes i mean yes we're talking about sorprendido sorprendido okay sorprendido sorprendido and that means surprised okay surprised so that's an easy one so i'm going to give a point to chanel and i'm going to give a point to trent as well Perfect. I'm, I'm going to let you know, guys, if I'm saying masculine or feminine. Okay. Just just in case. If if I don't say feminine, then it's very likely that it's going to be masculine. Okay. Chanel or Trent, please tell me a number. Okay. 
we have um, yeah we have yeah a few options up there okay so Trent is saying nine across nine across uh, that's right here or the number was right there but the actual word is right here excellent and this word has six seven eight nine 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 letters nine across has nine letters <laughs> okay so this is going to be feminine Fem the feminine form guys okay the the definition is not showing or feeling nervousness anger nor other strong emotions okay so this person is not showing any feeling uh, feelings like nervousness anger or any other strong emotion you know some people call that be very zen you know <laughs> but uh how do you call this in spanish when you don't have when you don't feel any anger when you don't feel anything like no you don't feel nervous you're not angry you don't have any bad emotions i would say chanel is saying confianza that's a good guess but that's not the word and remember it has to be feminine okay the feminine form of this feeling or mood usually um you feel this when you don't have any pressure i would say it's the opposite of feeling stressed out <laughs> yes trent trent has the answer we are talking about tranquila tranquila okay so that's that's the answer tranquila tranquila that means calm quiet you know you're zen <laughs> pretty much tranquila and that's a feminine form the masculine form is tranquilo tranquila tranquilo tranquila feminine tranquilo masculine okay so trent gets a point good job trent you're leading excellent okay Trent, we have quite a few words. And uh, yeah, I need a number, please. Fifteen across. Okay, so that's here, or that's right here, rather. Okay. So this one has six, seven, eight, eight letters, ocho letras. And let's see if it's feminine or masculine. This one is masculine and it's a peculiar word. I hope you can guess it. Okay, so the definition is demanding uh, that rules concerning behavior are obeyed and observed observed sorry demanding total obedience or observance or, or observance uh rigidly enforced you know someone who likes rules someone who wants people to obey and observed uh something you know rules i would say um, usually there are some parents that are like that, who are like that. And Chanel, that's a, an excellent guess, but no. We're talking about someone who is telling someone else to obey the rules. You know, parents, some parents can be like this. Um, it's like an extreme, you know, to, how do you call this? behavior uh, that's another good guess Chanel but it's not that is a very excellent guess Trent um, 
it's a synonym of that word. Estricto. That's, a, that's pretty much what I'm talking about. Uh, but, hello, oral care. How are you? <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, it's a different word. It sounds it sounds like you're saying energy, but it's not energy, obviously. <laughs> you know, it's a synonym of estricto. How do you say this? It's a it's not it's a common Spanish word, but Estricto is more common than this, this word, okay? So, again, we're talking about someone who is very, um, very, I don't know, like they like rules. They just like rules and you have to obey them because, you know, it's either black or white. And the first letter of this word is e, okay, e. It has a, a similar a similar spelling as estricto, but it's not estricto. Okay. <laughs> that's another good guess, riguroso. Riguroso, estricto. Yes, that's another synonym, but it's not. <laughs> it's not the word. I'm sorry. Let's show some words, okay? I mean, some letters. I think that that will be uh, some good hints. Okay, so I told you the first letter is A, okay? The last letter... <laughs> Chanel... It's not austero, <laughs> it's not riguroso, it's not estricto. The last letter is O, okay? E and O. And also, let me let me show you another another letter. Okay, so this word has an accent mark, okay? Exigente, that's another excellent word, Chanel, but it's not exigente. But it's related it's related to to that term. Like it could be a synonym of, of this word that we're trying to guess. Um let me show you let me show you another letter. And I think I'm gonna show you this one right here. We have a G as well, you know? And remember, it sounds like you're saying energy, but it's not energy, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Do you know this mood? It's a very it's a it's a very tough one. <laughs> you can do it, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you another, I'll show you the second letter, okay? We can see more of this word. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hmm, what could it be? Okay, I'll show you another letter. I'll show you another letter. How about this one here? We have energ. <laughs> energ. <laughs> okay, you're only missing two two letters. You can guess, you can just, yes, 
Exactly. Exactly. Trent has the answer. We are talking about energico. Energico. Okay. And this is um, a tricky word because it sounds like we're talking about about someone who has energy, you know. Um, but the main meaning of this word is someone who is strict, you know. Someone who likes to 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 make others to obey the law and all of that. Especially parents. Parents can be energicos. Energico. Okay, so Trent gets the point. Good job, Trent. Okay, and good job, everyone, because you you gave me other answers that are very, very similar to this word, like estricto, uh, exigente. Yes, that's that's correct. Okay, so Trent, please tell me the next number. We have six across, two down, three, five, fourteen. <clears throat> fourteen down, okay. That one is right here. And it has seven letters. Siete letras, siete letras. Oh my goodness. This one is not as long as the other words, but let's see. 14 down. This is going to be feminine. Feminine, guys, feminine. Remember that. Having a great deal to do. Occupied with or concentrating, concentrating on a particular activity or object of attention. Okay, so this person is, you know, how, how do you say? I don't want to say it in English but you have a great deal to do. You're like, you have so many things to do and you're occupied with or concentrating on a particular activity or object of attention, okay? Okay, okay, I see what happened. Okay, so Lynette says ocupado, ocupado, and Chanel, says ocupada and Chanel has the correct answer but I'm going to give the point to Lynette and Chanel okay so yes we're talking about ocupada ocupada okay ocupada is the feminine form and ocupado is the masculine form of the English or rather the definition or the meaning of this word is busy when someone is busy, ocupado, feminine, ocupada, ocupada, feminine, ocupado, masculine. Sorry about that. Okay, so Lynette gets a point and also Chanel. Well, Chanel doesn't have the right spelling though. <laughs> what to do? Chanel, you have two C's. And it's only one. Technically, Trent is right. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chanel. I'm gonna have to give the point to Trent because he has the accurate answer and he was the uh the first one to say it, besides Lynette. I'm sorry, Chanel, I feel bad. But yeah, uh Trent gets the point. Trent gets the point. Or what should I do? Should I give you all a point? <laughs> okay. Okay. What to do? I'm going to give Chanel a point too. That was my bad. I, yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> why not? I feel generous. <laughs> okay. So Chanel says six across. Since Chanel says and said the number already, let's do that one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, six across, six across. Remember, Chanel, ocupada has only one C, okay? 
Perfect. Okay, so six across. Let's see, six across. It's down here. Okay, and mm, it has this has seven letters. Siete letras. Okay, guys, let's see. This is another feminine, feminine one. Okay, the feminine form. Remember, feminine, guys. The definition is in need of sleep or rest, feeling weary, weary, weary. <laughs> when you feel that you need to rest, that when you feel sleepy and I don't want to say it in English, but usually, yes, you are going to feel like you need some sleep or some resting. Usually this happens after work, you know, you're, you don't want to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Trent has the answer. Chanel, that's a very good guess. Agotada. Agotada is a synonym of cansada. Yes. So that's perfect. Uh, but yeah, Trent has the answer and we are talking about Cansada, cansada. That means um, tired, okay? Cansada is the feminine form and cansado is the masculine form. And that means tired. Okay, so Trent gets the point. Trent, good job. Good job, everyone. <laughs> okay, Trent, please tell me. We have just three left, three words left, and Trent is leading, then Chanel and Lynette. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have two down, three and five. Okay. <laughs> Chanel, are you leaving? Well, have a nice evening as well. Feliz noche. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, Trent in Tampa says, Soy cansado. Estoy cansado. Yes, you... The correct, the correct way to say this is um, Estoy cansado. Okay? Oh, yeah. But soy casado. Soy casado. That means... I'm married and estoy cansado means I'm tired. Yeah, it sounds very similar. <laughs> it sounds very similar. Yeah, good point, Trent. Okay, so uh, two down. Let's see, two down. Uh, I see someone answering already. Lynette, Lynette, I see, I see you said something. I see you said something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see if it's correct. I have to double check. Okay. Yes. The spelling is not right. So you got to fix that. <laughs> I can't give you a point if the spelling is not correct. But let me read the... Um, you're very closely knit. Come on. You can fix that for sure. Um, the definition, in the meantime, I'm going to read the definition. Feeling weary because one is unoccupied or lacks interest in one's current activity. Okay. How do you call this? Oral care, you're, you're very close. You're very close, but no, <laughs> that's not the right spelling. Lynette. Again, you have, you almost have the right spelling, but no, <laughs> you can do it, guys. Feeling wary because one is unoccupied or lacks interest in one's current activity. How do you call this? Yes, Lynette. <laughs> you got it. Yes, we're talking about aburrido. Aburrido. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
So that is the word. And yes, that means bored. Okay. When you're bored and and you want to do something else, you want to move on because it's just too boring, right? So yes, aburrido means bored. Aburrida is the feminine form um, of bored, right? In Spanish. Okay, so Lynette gets the point. Good job, Lynette. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lynette gets a point. Excellent. Okay, Lynette, we have two numbers left. Three in Five. Which one? <laughs> Which one would you like? Oh, actually, we just have one. Oh no, we have we have two. I don't know why I have it highlighted. I don't know. I'm not sure. But um, <laughs> do you want to do three down, Lynette? Okay, five. Five. So just let me undo this. It really doesn't matter because we only have two words left, right? But okay, let's do this. Five down. That one is right here. Okay. And the, oh, it's a long one. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez letras. Ten letters. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, five down. The definition, it's, it's going to be feminine, guys. Feminine. And the definition is lacking order and thus difficult to understand. Okay. So, the feeling is about lacking order and thus difficult to understand okay so this could happen if you you hear someone speaking too fast it could be spanish someone speaking spanish too fast and you're like huh you know what did the person say or if you're asking for directions because you're going somewhere and the person doesn't know how to explain too well the directions, then you're like, huh? Huh? <laughs> how do you call this in Spanish? Or what do you call this in Spanish? No entienda? No. <laughs> That's like a good guess, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's a long word for sure. Trent, yes, you are correct. We are talking about confundida, confundida. And yeah, that's um, the feminine, uh, a feminine form and the, the feminine form and the masculine form is confundido. Uh, let's see the answer. Confundida, confundida. That means confused. So, the English word and the Spanish word are quite, both of them are quite similar. So yeah, confundida means confused. And Trent gets a point. Good job, Trent. Wow, look at that. Okay. Um, lastly, we have only, well, one number left. And that is three down. Three down. And we can see there's like two letters uh, two E's, and let's read the definition. Feel free to start guessing if you want, guys. <laughs> um, three down. Okay, so the definition is feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Someone who feels happiness. And I know that you already guessed the word feliz, but this is a different way to say this, you know, it's a synonym of feliz. So, hmm, do you know, guys, when you feel pleasure or contentment, someone who feels happiness, that's the last word, guys. 
How do you call this? This feeling, especially if if you you're listening to a really nice song and you start feeling, you know, like you want to dance because you're feeling <laughs> or maybe you're having a good day and you feel that way, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Alegre. Alegre. And yes, that's correct, Trent. That's correct. We are talking about alegre. And it's funny because this word can work. Uh, it doesn't have a grammatical gender. So you can say la mujer está alegre or el hombre está alegre. So yeah, you don't have to worry about gender and all that stuff <laughs> when using this word. Yeah, alegre means happy as well. So we have feliz and alegre. Both mean happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Trent says, estoy muy alegre hoy. Es viernes. Yes, that's so awesome. Yeah, I love Fridays too. Okay, so Trent gets a point. And that's it, guys. That's it. You did it. You did it. You guessed everything. And I'm so proud of you. And we can see, we can see that someone won. Okay, someone won. And that is Trent in Tampa. Congratulations, Trent. You did it. You won. You won, my friend. That's amazing. You guessed a lot of words, but you were the first to answer 11 words. So that is great. That is great. And then we have Chanel. Uh, she's second place. And Lynette. Uh, she's third place, but still like very, very good. Good job, guys. And I'm going to put here, uh, right here, just uh, give me a second. I'm going to put here Trent's name because he won. So he has, he has won already once, okay, in this month. So he is going here. Trent, I'm gonna put the the full name. Uh, Trent in Tampa. Okay, so you are the winner of this today's crossword puzzle, Trent, and you're gonna stay here uh, here in this um, October winner score because remember that if you keep winning uh, all the crossword puzzles that we're going to have this month if you're the winner of uh, the most crossword puzzles that we're going to do you are going to have a chance uh, to join us on our podcast and chat with us about uh, that week's topic so that's obviously it's optional but but that's that's amazing that's amazing. You you can be part of our podcast for uh, that month, October, and uh, well, it will be just one one episode. But <laughs> that's that's extremely extremely exciting. Uh, congratulations, Trent! You are the winner. You won. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I'm so so happy that you were here guys participating and guessing words with me that's amazing you Trent you know Spanish my friend also Lynette thank you for being here um, Chanel thank you as well and Oral Care thank you so much for being here for participating and anybody who watched this live stream thank you for being here uh, yes Trent that would be awesome for sure for sure so so this month is going to have four crossword puzzles because we do one every week. So this month we'll have four and then we will see after those four crossword puzzles, uh, whoever wins the most times in this month, we, we will be, will be participating and just join, we'll be, uh, on our podcast and chat with us about 
a specific topic about Spanish and, you know, culture and all of that. Um, great. Awesome. Okay. So thank you so much again, guys. Oral Care says, muchas gracias, profesora. You're welcome, Oral. Oral Care, thank you for being here. Um, Lynette says, felicidades, Trent. Next time it's me. Well, uh, that's good. That's good, Lynette. I love that. I, I love that optimism, that like energy. Good, 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 good. I love that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching again. Remember to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video or rather I live stream. Uh, and um, have a, a great weekend and visit smlessons.com if you want to download this crossword puzzle it's for free the link to that is in the video description down below as well give this video a like please that helps me a lot and uh well thank you so much again i say that a lot but it's it's true i i really appreciate you being here okay take care guys bye have a nice weekend congratulations trend in tampa bye